In this question, we're going to convert 15.3 meters cubed to the same measurement to decimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, kilometers cubed, and millimeters cubed. So in the first case, we have decimeters cubed. We realize that one meter has 10 decimeters, so we have to write a conversion factor in here. And we're, we're looking to eliminate meters cubed, so we're going to write one decimeter, sorry, 10 decimeters, per one meter, but because it's a volume measurement, we're going to raise this to the power of three so that we're going to have meters cubed. Of course, if you raise this one to the power of three, you have to raise everything else in there to the power of three. So it gives you the following. 15.3 meters cubed is being multiplied by 10 cubed, which is 1,000. Decimeters cubed, actually distribute that cubed, that power into everything within the bracket. One is still one and meters cubed. Now it allows you to cancel the meters cubed, and the answer is going to be 15,300 decimeters cubed. In the second case, we're going to convert to centimeters cubed. We know there are 100 centimeters per meter, and again, we're going to put meter in the denominator because we're trying to eliminate meter, but we have to cube the whole bracket because we're trying to cube meters, and of course we have to cube everything else in there as well. So we raise up to the power of 3, and it's going to give us 15.3 meters cubed times 100 cubed, which is a million. 100 times 100 times 100 is 1 times 1 times 1, which is still 1. Then you take all the zeros and group them together. We get a 6, a number with 6 zeros in it. Centimeters is now cubed, and 1 meter cubed remains the same. This allows you to cancel meters cubed, and your answer is 15,300,000 centimeters cubed. You could also say 1.53. Now, the decimal place is here, so we're going to move it three, six, seven times. So we're going to get times 10 to the 7 centimeters cubed. In the third example, we're converting to kilometers cubed. But now um, there are a thousand meters per kilometer. So we're going to put kilometers in the numerator. Meters is what we're trying to cancel. There's a thousand meters per kilometer. Again, we have to cube the conversion factor. And the result is that we have 15.3 meters cubed times one kilometer cubed per a thousand cubed is. 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000. That's going to be 1 billion, 1 with 9 zeros, but we're not going to write that. We're going to write 1.0 times 10 to the 9 uh, meters cubed. Meters cubed, now cancel, and we get 15.3 divided by 1 billion, so we're going to get 1.53 times 10 to the minus 8 uh, kilometers cubed. The last example is in millimeters cubed, so there are 1,000 millimeters in one kilometer, oh, what am I saying, in one meter. We're going to raise that to the power of three, so that allows us to cube meters, and then everything else has to be cubed as well, so we're going to get 15.3 meters cubed multiplied by one billion. 1.0 times 10 to the 9 millimeters cubed over 1 meter cubed. The meter cubed cancels, and we get 15 billion, 300 million millimeters cubed in 15.3 meters, uh, meters cubed. Now we can also rewrite that number by moving the decimal place from here. 3, 6, 7 positions, so the 1.53. I didn't write billion, I wrote million. Sorry, let me just backtrack. Billion is with nine zeros. So the decimal place is here. We move the decimal place back three, six, nine, ten times. We get 1.53 times 10 to the 10 uh, millimeters cubed.
we see that the conversion, the trick to getting the conversion factor correctly uh, set up is to choose what the conversion factor is. Say in the case of kilometers to meters, it's a thousand meters per kilometer, but you can write it with the meters on the bottom, or you can write it with the meters on the top. The way you decide which way to write it is by looking at what you're trying to get rid of. You're trying to get rid of meters in the initial figure here, so the meters has to be in the denominator to be able to cancel with the meters in the other number. 